Welcome to your yoga practice. My name is Christine. This is our relax and restore practice and we are starting in a standing position this evening. So come into your mountain pose. Press your feet firmly onto the earth, whether that's actually outside if you're able or on your carpet or on your yoga mat, whatever surface you're standing on today, let's think of that as the earth. So let's ground our feet into the earth, press into the heels, press into the toes, press into the outer edges of the feet. Maybe rock a little forward and a little back finding that place where you're really centered, neither too far forward or too far back. Have a slight bend in those knees and kind of gently traction your legs inward, sort of rotating the thighs inward, making space in the small of the back here for a little bit of release. Have your pelvis, be nice and centered as well, right over those feet. Maybe tilt the tailbone down long, pointing the hip bones forward and up gently. Have the heart centered right over the pelvis. Open up the arms, letting the palms face forward, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Tucking the chin gently to keep the neck nice and long and draw the crown of the head up towards the sky. So we're in our mountain pose here. A pose of groundedness, a pose of strength. And let's just notice the breath here. And let's just begin some gentle movement Let's inhale, taking the palms up to the sky and overhead where the palms meet and exhale, hands to heart. And then let's just keep right on inhaling, take those palms back up overhead and then exhale, releasing the palms, turning them down towards the earth and floating them back down towards your sides. Let the hands crisscross in front of the pelvis and then inhale the arms up and overhead, palms meet, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, palms up, break apart the hands, exhale, palms float down to the earth and crisscross in front of the pelvis again. And let's keep just doing that little gentle motion, finding a little flowy gentleness here. Maybe when you come down to crisscross in front of the pelvis, you change up whatever hand is in the front every time you come down. So maybe the right hand is in front as you crisscross down at the bottom. And then the next time you exhale down to crisscross, the left hand sweeps in front. Let's bring some softness to the knees here, maybe bending and straightening a bit. And then as we inhale the hands up again, let's look up, look for our palms. And as we draw the pressed palms in prayer position to our heart, let's follow those fingertips with our gaze. As we inhale, the palms back up to the sky, watch your hands. And as you float the hands down with your exhale, look down and find your crisscross. Inhale, look up, arms up, palms meet, exhale, heart, inhale, up, exhale, palms down, look down, crisscross. Let's just keep doing that, flowing, warming up through the shoulders, finding a little gentle movement, warming up through the neck, letting a little spaciousness come in. Inhale once again, exhale, hands to heart. 
Next time you inhale, hands up, open the arms out to the sides, exhale, palms down, bend the knees really generously and come all the way down in your forward fold. You can just have the backs of your hands resting on the mat or the tops of your feet. You can take your palms to the mat in front of you, or you can just ragdoll, letting the arms hang loosely. Or you can hook your thumb inside your elbows and frame your face with your bent arms kind of coming around the head, letting the head just loosely hang in the frame of your arms. Maybe rock a little from side to side. Maybe bend the knees really generously, letting the belly come to the tops of the thighs. Maybe straighten the thighs and find a stretch in the back of the legs. Breathing here. Go ahead and switch your arm position. So the side that feels awkward and wonky, we're gonna embrace awkward and wonky. Let's just find a little bit of peace and a little bit of harmony. Inhaling into the side body and into the back body. And as we exhale, let's take the fingertips to the earth in front of our feet and go ahead and bend one leg and then the other coming down in onto the mat here, sitting in your easy seated pose. You can be up on a block or on a pillow or rolled up blanket or towel. Sukhasana here, just a traditional cross-legged position, or you can find Siddhasana with one heel in towards the groin and the other stacked right in front of it. It's kind of lets your Hips be a little bit more balanced. Your knees drop away from the body. In this position here, let's find our mountain pose. Drawing the crown up to the sky, tucking the chin, opening the palms on top of knees or thighs in this receiving position, in this giving position. Tilt that tailbone down towards the earth to keep the spine nice and long here. Inhale in through the nose and exhale. Let's do a couple sighs from the mouth. Let's inhale deep into the belly and exhale out the mouth with a sigh. Inhale through the nose down through the throat and the chest and into the belly. And just let it go with a sigh. Close the eyes here if that's comfortable as we take another breath. And exhale out the mouth with a sigh. And let's go ahead and inhale the arms up and overhead where the palms meet and exhale, hands to heart. And let's just chant three ohms here, focusing on the vibration that you feel in the body, focusing on the sound as it resonates. Let's take a nice big inhale deep into the belly to prepare. Oh. Oh.
Go ahead and release your palms to knees or thighs. And just notice what you feel in the body. Let's just do a gentle pranayama breathing practice. Nadi Shosana, Shodana, Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. So what we're gonna do here is place our thumb over the right nostril. Take your pointer finger to the spot right between the eyebrows where the third eye resides. And then take your middle finger to hover over the left nostril. The other two fingers can just be relaxed here. And we're going to inhale up through the left nostril and close the left nostril with the middle finger. And then we'll exhale out the right nostril. We'll inhale through the right nostril, close the right nostril with the thumb, open the left nostril and exhale from the left nostril. Repeating that over and over again. Let's go ahead and place the thumb on the right nostril, index finger between the eyes. Take an inhale through the left nostril. Close the left nostril. Open the right nostril. Exhale. Inhale, right nostril. Close the right nostril. Open the left side and exhale. Inhale, left. Close. Open right, exhale, inhale right, close, open left, and exhale. Continue doing this on your own, keeping contact with your index finger over that third eye in your nice tall seat, finding mountain here in the upper body. Your left hand can be resting anywhere it feels comfortable for you as you alternate signs. When we inhale into the left side of the brain, we're stimulate or into the left side of the nose, we're stimulating the right side of the brain, which is our creative and emotional side the side where the moon is and where relaxation is. And when we inhale through the right side of the nostril, we stimulate the left side of the brain, which is where logic resides, where the sun is, where activity is. And so we're just finding some balance here as we move from side to side. And the next time you exhale from your left side, that will be the last time. And you can place your palms back to knees or thighs and take a nice big full inhale and exhale here. And then let's go ahead and warm up just a little bit. Let's take our fingertips out to the sides and let's press the right hand onto the earth as we inhale the left fingertips up overhead. Stay for the exhale here, really pressing into that left sit bone and then inhale the left fingertips up to the sky and over to the left side. Stay for the exhale here. And then let's inhale right fingertips up to right or left side, pressing into that right sit bone. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale right fingertips up to the side and we're back to center. Exhale here and then inhale left again. 
And then on your own, with your breath, continue this nice flowy movement from side to side, just back and forth like the wave of an ocean. And as you reach your fingertips to the left, make sure you're keeping contact with the earth with the right sit bone. And as the fingertips stretch over to the right, keep grounded through the left sit bone. Back and forth from side to side. And the next time you reach your left fingertips over to the right, stay here. Maybe take the forearm a little closer to the earth or maybe to a block if that fit, fits your body better. And we're just going to inhale, opening up through the left side body. Exhale, just to find a little softness, keeping connected and grounded through both sit bones here. Maybe you wanna open up the chest to the sky feeling more of a stretch in the front side body. Or maybe you want to roll the heart down to shine at the earth. Feeling more of a stretch in the left back body. And when you've had enough here, let's go ahead and inhale the left fingertips up to the sky, exhale through center, and then inhale right fingertips over to the left. And let's stay here, breathing, opening up through the right side body, exploring whether forward or back feels best in your body. Maybe staying for a breath or two when you find a spot that feels particularly good for you. And then let's inhale the right fingertips back over to the right side. If you're sit, whatever seat you're in, if you're in a cross-legged position, Switch your leg position so the opposite leg is in front. We're just going to balance everything out here. Let's go ahead and inhale the arms up overhead. Bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's inhale center, reaching the crown towards the sky. And as you exhale, let's twist over towards the left beginning at the base of the spine. So begin the twist in the low back, and then the mid back, and then the upper back, coming into your gentle twist, gazing out over your palms, or maybe taking your gaze to the front, or back over your left shoulder lengthening through the spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, maybe twisting a, any amount more or perhaps just softening here. Inhale one last time here. Exhale, come back to center. Stay for a full breath here. And then let's inhale center and again twist over to the right this time, starting at the lumbar spine, the low back, the mid back through the thoracic spine, and then the cervical spine and the upper back. Visualize your spine like a strand of DNA, a beautiful swirl gently making space in between all of the vertebrae. Inhale, length. Exhale to soften. Inhale one last time. And then exhale, coming back to center. Let's go ahead and inhale the arms up and overhead. 
Exhale, bringing the hands behind you and clasping them behind your back, drawing your clasped hands down towards your tailbone, towards the earth. You can stay here or you can inhale and hinge forward, drawing the heart forward, hinging from the hips, maybe lifting your clasped hands towards the sky. Continue the journey down and as your sit bones begin to lift from the earth, release your clasp hands and walk your palms forward in front of you so that you've got this nice child's pose position in the upper body. Inhale here and then exhale to walk the palms over to the right. N inhaling into the left side body, opening up space through the ribs. And exhale here. Inhale back to center. Stay for the exhale. And then let's inhale, walking the fingertips back up and up to overhead in this nice victorious pose. Let's Rotate those arm bones inward so that the pinkies are drawing in toward one another and we're really scooping out space in between the shoulder blades here. Let's inhale here and exhale, drawing the palms behind the back again, this time changing up the clasp. So whichever index finger is typically on top, usually your dominant hand, just switch it over so that the non-dominant finger is on top. Inhale to lift the heart, tuck the chin. And as we exhale, let's begin to hinge forward from the hips, maybe drawing the clasp hands up towards the sky until those sit bones begin to lose their grip on the earth. And then we'll release the palms out in front of us, taking that child's pose again. Maybe even kind of as we press into the palms, sort of scooping out the back, revisiting that victorious pose as we sort of draw the pinkies towards one another, even as we're pressing the palms to the earth. Let's inhale here and then exhale to walk the hands to the left. And as we breathe here, we can inhale into the right side body, opening up space in between the ribs. Pressing that right sit bone down to the earth. One more big inhale here. Exhale, drawing the hands forward. Inhale, walking the hands back up to a tall seat and bringing the arms alongside the ears in this victorious pose. And as you exhale, really plug those arm bones into the shoulder sockets, rotating those arms so that the pinkies are drawing inward and there's so much space in between those shoulder blades. Inhale here one last time, and then let's exhale to let the palms float down to the earth and come into your tabletop. Take a nice flat back here, or as flat as our natural curvature can allow. Press the palms onto the earth, pressing into the fingers and maybe walking the wrists out just a smidgen ahead of the shoulders so that the weight of the shoulders isn't directly on top of the wrists. Have the knees in line with the hips, the calves parallel. Draw the crown of the head away, tuck the chin, Draw the tailbone towards the opposite end of the, the mat here. Again, finding our mountain pose, even in this position. And gently tractioning those arm bones again so that we're sort of drawing the palms downward towards one another and making space in between those shoulder blades. Let's inhale here and then exhale. 
And then as we inhale again, let's take a few cat cows, drawing the heart forward and curling the toes under. And as we exhale, let's round the back and press the tops of the feet to the earth. Inhale, taking a gentle bend in the elbows, curling the toes, drawing the heart forward and dropping the belly. Exhale, drawing the belly button to the spine as we open up through the shoulder blades and press the tops of the feet into the earth. Let's do a few more cat cows here with your breath on your own, finding some gentle movement. And when you've done your last cat here, come back to tabletop and let's get a little freaky with the spine here. Maybe wag your tail from side to side. Maybe look back over the right shoulder as the hip comes to the right, opening up through the left side body and looking over the left shoulder as the hip comes to the left, opening up through the right side body. Just back and forth here. Or maybe experiment with treating your spine a little bit like a jump rope, dropping the belly and coming around and through cat and then down and around on the opposite side. Just rolling through the spine. Whatever feels good here. If you've taken one direction, go ahead and reverse your circles to even everything out. And then let's go ahead and come back to your strong tabletop. Let's inhale, lift the left foot and press the heel back, dialing those toes down to point to the earth so that the hips are facing the mat and your back is nice and flat so you could, you could set a teacup right there and it would not spill. It's just a nice flat table. Let's inhale here, exhale, drawing the knee up to the nose and rounding the back into your cat. Let's inhale again, pressing the left leg back. And then the next time we exhale, let's bring the left knee all the way through, plant the left sole of the foot between the palms. And if you have blocks handy and you want to bring the earth a little closer to you, have one on either side of the foot. And again, we're drawing the heart forward and the shoulder blades down the back and tucking that chin, finding our mountain pose even here. You can walk that right knee back a little bit. I need a really nice, big, deep stretch in that right hip flexor. Breathing here. Maybe walking that left palm to the top of the right thigh and then look over the left shoulder, finding a real gentle twist here. Maybe you want to curl the back toes under and lift the right knee or maybe keep it low, whatever feels good in your body. And maybe you even want to draw that left arm up to the sky and find a big twist with the knee either lifted or lowered. Inhaling to stretch those left fingertips up towards the sky if your arm is extended. And exhaling to float the left palm back toward the earth. Set the right knee down if it's not already and walk back into your half splits. Flexing through that left foot, pointing the left toes up to the sky. Inhaling the heart forward, tucking the chin, always finding your mountain pose whenever we're in a flat back position. 
Maybe you want to press those toes down to the earth. Finding a different sensation in the front of the left leg. And then let's inhale and stack the left knee over the left ankle, plant the palms and send the left knee back next to the right. Let's take a cat cow here just to realign the spine. And then back at your nice strong tabletop, let's inhale the right foot back, pressing through the heel. Dialing those toes towards the earth. The next time you exhale, draw the knee towards the nose and round through the back. Inhale the right leg out long again, and then exhale the knee all the way through, planting the right foot between the palms. Again, use your blocks here if that makes the floor more accessible. You can walk the left knee back a bit to really open up through the left hip. Tucking that chin, protecting the neck. Either stay right here and continue to draw that left hip forward and the right hip back, or you can walk your right palm to the top of the right knee and look back over the right shoulder, finding a gentle twist here. Breathing into this space. Either stay here or you can lift the back knee if you like, curling the left toes under and pressing back through the left heel. And if you'd like to explore a little more of that twist, you can reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Give those fingertips a, a little wiggle, waving up to the clouds, drawing upward, taking some of the weight off the lower body, almost as if you could float if there was a string to catch. And when you're ready, exhale, floating the right arm back down towards the earth. And then let's walk back into our half splits, drawing the left hip back, straightening that right leg, pointing the toes up to the sky. Inhaling here, finding space. And maybe pressing those toe tips down to the earth. Explore what feels good to you here and notice what you feel. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and inhale to stack the right knee over the right ankle and send that right knee back into your tabletop. Let's inhale that left leg out long again. And then exhale, bringing the knee back to the earth. Inhale, right leg out long. And exhale, right knee back to the earth. You can stay here in tabletop. Or you can curl the toes under, draw the hips back towards the heels. And lift the hip bones up towards the sky, coming into your downward dog. Either way, we're finding that mountain pose in the upper body. We're scooping the shoulder blades out, rotating those arm bones inward as if we can have the pinkies touch one another. Maybe press one heel and then the other down towards the earth. If you're in tabletop, the toes can be curled under, pressing the heels away. From either position, let's inhale the left leg back, bend the left knee and make some circles here in the left hip. And if you're in downward dog and you wanna come back to table, please honor your body and do so. From either position, let's reverse the circles. And then let's inhale, straightening the left leg. And as we exhale, let's draw the left knee all the way through toward the left wrist, coming into half pigeon here. 
pressing into your fingertips. The left heel can be anywhere between the right hip flexor and parallel with the front of the mat. So whatever works best with your body, anywhere in this area is great. And drawing the hips towards the earth, pressing into the fingertips, finding length through the spine. The right leg is pointed straight back from the right hip here. Inhale, finding your mountain, and then exhale to just surrender the heart towards the earth. You can have that block underneath the left hips, hip to keep the hips square to the floor. You can come down to your forearms here, or maybe take prayer position and rest your forehead to the thumbs. You can stack your hands and rest your forehead or one cheek or the other to the palms. Or you can draw the arms out long, finding your child's pose in the upper body. Maybe rotating the forehead a little bit, little circles, finding a little massage there at the third eye. Inhale, expanding through the ribs, opening up through the side body. And when you exhale, notice where you might be unnecessarily engaged and just let that go. Let that relax, let that soften. Stay here for a couple full breaths, expanding the skin of the back body as we inhale, maybe noticing the beat of the heart and letting go of any tension or tightness or gripping anywhere, just bringing softness, tenderness to those spaces. Let's inhale, walking back up to our fingertips. You can stay here or maybe experiment with drawing the right heel towards the right buttock. If that feels good, you could plant the left palm out in front of you and reach back with the right hand coming into a kind of a modified dancer's pigeon here. If you're clasping that foot, you can clasp on the outer edge of the foot or come to the inside, really opening up through the shoulder, opening up through the right hip. Inhale one more time, pressing the hand, pressing the foot into the hand. Exhale to gently release. Curl the back toes under, lift the right knee, press that right heel away. And then let's inhale, coming back to tabletop or downward facing dog. Let's find a moment of stillness here, scooping out between those shoulder blades, taking a full inhale down into the belly. And out through the mouth with a sigh. And then let's inhale the right leg up and back. And exhale, drawing the right knee all the way through to the right wrist, coming into half pigeon. Make any adjustments here to make the pose fit your body, whether that's using a block under the right hip or making sure that left knee is pointed straight back from the left hip, coming to palms or fingertips, 
Inhaling the heart forward and tucking the chin and exhaling to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale one more time and then exhale, surrendering to the earth, bowing down, coming into the position that best serves your pigeon pose. Breathing into the body, filling up those lungs, finding some stillness here, noticing what you feel in the right hip, noticing what you feel as you stimulate that third eye there. Noticing the heartbeat. One more full breath here. And then let's inhale back up to our fingertips. Maybe stay here finding mountain, finding a little more softness in the hips or maybe drawing that left foot towards the left sit bone and reaching back with the left hand to hold your foot. Opening up through the left shoulder and the left hip flexor. Pressing the foot into the palm. Inhale one last time here. Exhale to release. Inhale, curling those left toes under and pressing back through the left heel. And this time, let's go ahead and drop the right left knee back to the earth and swing the left leg around to the front of the mat. Sitting in your dandasana here, legs out long, toes pointed up to the sky. And then let's draw one foot and then the other so the soles meet in your butterfly, Baddha Konasana. Inhaling heart forward, chin tucked, spine long, shoulders relaxed. And exhale, hinging forward any amount from the hips. Making space. You can have those blocks underneath the knees if that feels more comfortable in your body. One more inhale here as we come back up to a tall seat, draw the knees towards one another, point up at the sky, bring the palms of the hands to the backs of the thighs. Inhale here finding that nice flat back and then exhale, rounding back, coming to the mat with your vertebrae one bone at a time. Inhale here, move your ponytail if you have one so the back of the skull can come to the earth. And then exhale, drawing one knee and then the other into the chest. Rocking gently from side to side. And then let's inhale here. Send the arms out long, palms facing up. Stay for the exhale and draw the belly button in towards the spine so that we can inhale one last time, keeping that core engaged. And as we exhale, let's take the knees stacked on top of one another over to the right, finding a big twist here. Maybe taking the gaze over the left shoulder, looking out over the left palm, making this beautiful S shape with your body. Noticing the big stretch all the way from the left knee up through the hip and the side body, the armpit, and out through the fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, drawing belly button to spine to 
tap into that core to give you strength to inhale the knees back up to the sky. Exhale, drawing both knees into the chest and the nose to the knees, giving yourself a big hug. And then place the skull back on the earth. Draw the palms out to the sides again. Inhale here. Exhale to tap into that core and then inhale the knees over to the left side, taking the gaze out over the right palm. Finding your big twist here. Breathing into that side body. And next time you exhale, really tap into that core one last time. Inhale the knees back up to center. Exhale, hugging those shins, drawing the nose to the knees. And then let's place the head back on the earth, draw the soles of the feet to one another, take the knees out to the sides and find your butterfly here, that Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly pose. Take a full breath here. And the next time you inhale, hold the edges of your feet and come out to happy baby maybe rocking from side to side, shining the soles of the feet up to the sky as you draw the knees down towards the armpits. Maybe extend one leg, finding length in the outer thigh, and then extend the other leg, finding a big stretch in that IT band, Come back to center, inhale here and happy baby. Exhale, drawing the soles of the feet back to your butterfly and the knees together. And then place the sole of one foot and then the other down to the earth and then inhale everything out long, drawing the fingertips away from the toes. And then exhale to come into your final Shavasana. You can be legs straight, toes open to the sides, arms open, palms open to the sky. Maybe press into those heels so you can lift the tailbone and then place it flush to the mat. Hug those shoulder blades in and down towards the back pockets. Tuck the chin to keep the neck long. Find a big inhale here and then just exhale to let it all go. Make any adjustments here you need to to make yourself comfortable. Placing pillows or blocks under the knees or you can Bend the knees and have the feet wide on the mat, knees touching. Whatever feels good to you here. And then let's imagine that there are beautiful white soft flower petals floating down from the sky to blanket the body with peace. These are imaginary flower petal petals we do not have to sweep up later. We can just fall softly, cloaking our bodies in peace and harmony. Maybe the petals are falling on our whole house and everybody that's in it, raining down gentle softness of peace and well being on all those who live there. Maybe the petals are falling on our whole neighborhood, perhaps our whole city 
imagine all of these beautiful petals of peace falling onto our state, the whole country, moving to all parts of the earth, showering light and love and peace on all beings everywhere, bringing happiness and freedom. Then let's float back to our own bodies, gently settling in, covered in beautiful white petals of light and love. And let's imagine a beautiful white pearl of light right there at that third eye, glowing with softness and peace and harmony and well-being, spreading light throughout the entire body, bringing health and well-being to every single cell. Let's bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly. And find some tenderness here. Let's take a moment to think of something that we're grateful for. Just something simple, like a sunset or the sunrise. Maybe a hot cup of tea or coffee in the morning. Maybe a furry friend. And hold that gratitude in your heart. As you tell yourself, you're grateful for yourself. For this body that you live in. that gives you shelter, where you are home. Sending gratitude and love and light throughout your body. Let's go ahead and find a little movement, wiggling the toes and wiggling the fingers. Let's draw one sole of the foot and then the other back to the earth. Gently windshield wiper the knees from side to side as you take the gaze in the opposite direction. And then roll gently to one side or the other, whatever makes sense for your body. Coming into your fetal pose. Maybe reach around with your hand to give your knees a little hug as you rest here. Taking a full breath. And then let's press our hand into the earth and inhale as we walk ourselves back up to Dandasana. This nice, strong, balanced position, staff pose, where the legs are out long in front of us, toes pointed up towards the sky, fingertips out to the sides of our hips, finding support here, drawing up into your mountain pose. And then let's inhale the palms up to the sky and overhead where they meet. And we exhale the thumbs to our heart center, pressing the sternum into the thumbs and the thumbs towards the heart. The light and the love in me sees and recognizes the light and love in you. May you find peace, harmony, and well-being. Namaste.